don't start a business, don't start a brand, start a revolution. Yeah. And it goes into what you said in terms of solving a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you're an artist or whether you're a business person, everything roots from solving a problem. So if you stop worrying about the business, which is often conceptualized with making the money, or if you stop worrying about the brand, which has to, you're thinking about marketing and pushing this out and doing things that are other than creating. If you just focus on the revolution, then you're taking a people that have, you know, a set of problems and you're saying, well, this is my manifesto on how I'm solving those problems. Right. I think like that marketing, the marketing aspect is the solution. Yeah. And then whatever you're actually selling or whatever you're actually creating is just a way for people to experience that solution with you. And so I think like, people are overwhelmed by the concept of business and it kind of, it, it, it they, they maybe I can't play that game, but I feel like we can all play that game of a revolution and just solving problems. And I love how you talked about your parents and how you feel like that's embedded in you. Kind of talk to me about that and, and how they raised you and how you've kind of become this person with that mindset of I'm going to get better every day. I'm going to put out my creations and I'm going to do it in my own way. Definitely. So that was that was really well said. And I think, you know, it's it really stems in purpose. Like as a, a baby, I was very much reminded that my purpose on this earth with this life and this vessel is to continue to tell the stories of, you know, my family and continue to tell the stories of people that I have been around that are not able to, you know, continue to live out their story. And I am so passionate about my purpose. So passionate. That's where a lot of my energy comes from. Some people are like, eh, like, she, you got a lot going on. You know what you want to do. And it's just that. But I truly, like, as a kid, I've just, you know, identified myself as a humanitarian. Like, and just that aspect where it's like empathy is the glue. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the more that I've been able to understand myself as an individual, the more I understand that I'm no different than anybody else. Like, I heavily believe in the philosophy Ubuntu and Ubuntu is a South African philosophy of just like I am you you are me we're no different and I look at animals like that I look at the the nature like that like all of that is just like that level of frequency like we're all really the same thing we're all trying so how can I make this experience a little bit better for somebody else and I think that you know business is just transaction it's just a system it's just you know it's a simple system and when you break All of this shit down, all of it is just interactions and experiences that you're having in the human, you know, experience. So it's like just bringing all of that down to why are you doing this every day? Why are you here? Why is, you know, why are you the way that you are? Who are you? You know, it's kind of like, I know it kind of can can be real like philosophy kind of based, but keeping the purpose in mind is the way that you keep it going. It's like the fuel of the treadmill. And when I wake up and I'm like, oh, like, you know, I think of my last name or even just my first name. I think of my parents. I'm like, okay, I have to do this to make them proud. I have to do this for my grandparents. I have to do this for my great, great grandparents. And even just that aspect of purpose, you know, identifying my purpose early, it just makes everything else kind of like fall into line. Where it's like, okay, like I'm not doing this for the money. I've never done it for the money. The money is going to come. And anybody that's really passionate about what they're doing, you know, what they're doing, and if they're doing it for the right reason, then the money's going to come regardless. So it's like I always keep in mind of, you know, just that bigger goal where it's like I would rather influence somebody or make somebody's day better than to be married to a certain amount of money. Like, oh, I have to get this. You know what I'm saying? So it's about putting the energy into the world that you want to see. Like I've always wanted to be, you know, that person that somebody can relate to instantly or somebody can feel approachable to, but also in that level of like, Oh, you're, you're a valuable piece of the world that I can, you know, learn from. So it's about being who you want to see and in any type of realm, business, artistry, like, you know, I always wanted to be somebody that, I was going to be happy with and look up to. So then every single day I embody those traits. I'm like, okay, what's somebody that I can look up to? The person that I can look up to is the person that's going to get up in the morning when the sun comes up and handles their fucking business. Like 
Yeah. It's just that simplicity of like, you know, uh, emotions are so fleeting. You have to break it down to the principles sometimes. And I'm so passionate about the principles that it makes my purpose fall in line, you know, so well. I, love, I, I think that's so well said <laughs> because it goes and that completely explains why you're on this route now to even express your art in different forms. Yeah. Because a lot of people think about what they do instead of why they do it. Yeah. And so if you think about what you do and then you try to go into why you do it, you can say, well, I'm a fashion designer. And then I go down, okay, well, I, I'm a fashion designer because I make clothes. And then I, you know, then my purpose is to, you know, spread love or whatever, right? Yeah. But when you look at it from the opposite way, you said, well, my purpose is to be a humanitarian. I want to serve the world. And then the how and the what that you're doing that by mm -hmm. is completely doesn't it doesn't matter because it can be art it can be painting it can be sculpting it can yeah. be music it can be podcasting it can be this conversation right, right here so a lot of the time i feel like people are caught into the what which is the labels that you produce but if you start from the inside out then those different forms of art mean nothing like for me yeah. i always thought like my what like I found my purpose and I was like once I understood that I was like wow hold up now like Kobe has this quote that says once you once I found my purpose I wanted to be the best basketball player of all time the world became my library to help me become better at my craft every conversation every single action that you do helps you fulfill that purpose in another way and then you can say oh wait I don't have to only do this one thing I can you know, make a podcast, I can write a book, yeah. I can, you know, do X, Y, and Z. So I definitely love how, how you phrased it that way. Thank you.